Hi, welcome back to my studio. I'm always looking for good quality paint brushes. It's actually quite difficult to find an excellent brush that's going to do the job and keep its shape. I like a brush that I've spent a bit of money on to last me a few months at least. And I'm always hearing about artists buying brushes and within no time at all the bristles are falling out or they're splayed and the brush is now useless. I came across a new brush recently um, from the Art Savings Club. It is a brush made in Germany by a company called Kum. It is um, also described as a memory point brush. And that's quite interesting because it's synthetic hair and uh, Kum are suggesting that uh, this brush is going to keep its shape with good use and um, as described in the name memory point brush you expect it to keep going for quite some time so we're going to test it out i've also got the full bird shape quite a long bristle as well it comes in other shapes as well like round and uh, flat and some speciality shapes so you can check those out for yourself on uh, artsavingsclub.co.za and look at what other brushes there are in the range. The other thing I want to find out is just how much um, water is held with these bristles when I'm using watercolor. You'll notice from also the length of the handle that it is not um, designed to be an oil painting brush which you'd expect to have um, a longer handle. I'm going to be using this mainly for watercolor. You could also use it for acrylic um, with thinner, thinner paint application and maybe also for um, ink. It could make a nice uh, sort of calligraphy stroke as well. For this video I'm going to be using watercolor. It's a medium that I use quite often. I'm going to try it various shapes um, with the possibilities that you can come up with um, a full bit from thin lines to broad strokes as well. So that should be quite fun to try out. And hopefully it does retain its shape and becomes a useful part of my uh, watercolor brush collection. Let's try it a few strokes with the brush and see how it performs. Okay, so here we've got the memory point. I'm going to try it out with a bit of watercolor. So let's try it out. Because it's got um, quite a sharp edge to it, I'm going to try out some thin lines, which as you can see looks pretty nicely. And turn it over, make thicker lines, back to thin. Okay, back to its point. Clean it off in some water. Can flick that off and back to its shape. So, so far so good. The other thing I want to test out is just its capacity for holding color and the quantity of color and water that I can hold with it. Um, when you painting with watercolor you want to be able to get in a few strokes not just one um, and one of the things that Kum do mention is that for a synthetic brush it holds a lot of capacity and it certainly seems to hold enough to get quite a wet and thick brush stroke down on one um, dip into the water and that's about four quite generous brush strokes. Now compared to a mop which is a very thick brush and will hold a lot of water as expected. Um, synthetic brushes I find generally don't. 
So the fact that this one does seem to really get in quite a bit, I think is definitely a positive for synthetic brushes. I think if you're going to do um, a general wash or large wash, you're going to start off using a mop brush anyway, but to get in the finer shapes, a brush like this would probably be ideal. I'm not only capacity to make thin lines, but everything in between. And just by rolling your fingers, you get a lot of variety. So yeah, it looks like you can get quite a bit of fun using this, this brush. So there it is, back in shape. Yeah, first impressions, positive. So I'm going to set up a fresh piece of paper and do a watercolor and pastel painting. Hopefully, we'll produce something nice with this brush.